Every machine is slightly different, but the components are essentially the same no matter your make or model. First, you have the hand wheel, which you need for lifting the needle up after a stitch, for doing slow and delicate work, and for threading your bobbin. Then, there is the dial for the stitch length. The smaller the number, the smaller the stitch length. The larger the number, the larger the stitch length. Then you have the dial for the stitch type. Most domestic machines come with an assortment of stitches, like a buttonhole option, some straight stitch options, a basic zigzag stitch, which is best for stretchy knits, and usually an assortment of hemming options and decorative embroidery designs. Remember, when changing stitch type, be sure your needle is up. This is my tension dial, which is applied to the needle thread only. The lower the number, the looser the machine releases the thread. The higher the number, the tighter the machine releases the thread. If you find gaps in your seams, best to start here first to correct. My machine comes with a blade. Some people use it to cut threads, some people just use scissors. It's up to you. Next is the presser foot and lever. The presser foot holds down the fabric as you sew and comes with a variety of options like a zipper foot or a button holer. Up top, we have the spindle that holds the needle thread. Mine comes with a fabric washer and a cap to avoid it popping off, but everyone's machine is slightly different. Then we have the bobbin case, which holds the bobbin. Sometimes it's fully under the machine, but mine opens in the sewing area. These scary looking things are called your feed dogs. They carry your fabric along in an up and down motion. When the needle goes down, the teeth go down. When the needle is up, the teeth are up. When you're ready to turn on the machine, the switch is usually on the side. This here is called your plate and it has lines grouped into it indicating seam allowance from the point of the needle outward. If you're ever not sure, you can always check with a ruler, placing the zero at the needle point. The more familiar you are with your machine, the more things you'll learn that you can do with it. Happy sewing!